Good day ladies and gentlemen, Joy Steven from the Polens Studios once again with a case law. Case laws are not meant for people interested to apply for immigration or permanent residence to Canada, but may be used for those who feel the system is not fair or to gain an understanding of the recourse available in Canada for any cases that were not successful. Content for this video is sourced from information distributed by Thomson Reuters. Judgment for this case is attached to my blog reportersreport.com as a PDF document. Tokyo's versus Canada. It's an immigration, person in need of protection, applicant was age 25, was a citizen of El Salvador. He claimed that he was targeted and threatened by members of a criminal gang that operated in El Salvador. In June 2010, Applicant's brother had been kidnapped by gang. Applicant assisted police in finding one of the kidnappers. That kidnapper had now been released from prison. Applicant's brother had disappeared and was feared dead. Fearing for his life, applicant fled El Salvador in February 2nd, 2012 and made his way to Canada where he claimed refugee status. RPD or the Refugee Protection Division of Immigration and the Refugee Board of Canada dismissed application. It found applicant was neither convention refugee nor person in need of protection. Decision was based on findings that applicant, applicant was not credible. Applicant applied for judicial review of board's decision. Application granted. Board's conclusion regarding applicant's credibility were unreasonable finding was based on inconsistencies or omissions that were trivial and explainable through applicants evidence and did and did not form, um, sorry and did not uh, form sufficient foundation upon which applicants overall credibility could be impunged based on the board also rejected summarily all corroborating documents simply because Pseudonyms were used, although there were consistencies between two narratives presented. Board focused on microscopic examination of applicant's evidence, failed to have regard that applicant was going, uh, giving evidence through interpreter and unreasonably gave no weight to corroborating documents. Interesting case, Turquoise versus Canada. It was on March 13th, 2015. Thank you.